meet other partners. Um, I don't know how much I should and shouldn't say, but ultimately it's an online subscription agreement. So full disclosure, I am not a marketing person. I am a salesperson that uses LinkedIn. Um, I think I've got some, like the best thing I ever did was bring in eight of the best partners I could ever imagine. So I'm really excited about that. Um, but my question, because you mentioned some marketing, is I've never sold anything that I didn't need to speak with someone to sell it. I am a relationship builder. I am what my, I'm not a um, buy my $99 widget salesperson, which is now what I'm going to have to do. And I had this like, oh, my God, it's a totally different animal. So I want to come on and ask. So I'm thinking, Sean, that you get this question a lot. The people oh, who yeah. really are saying, I don't know how to make the transition. And I'm going to tell you in terms of ROI, in terms of ROI and marketing, the number one ROI item still, and you may disagree with me, Sean, is still one-on-one -on -one contact, talking to somebody face-to-face, -face, best return on investment of anything you can do in the world. So I'm glad that you do that. And I'm glad that that's something that is important to you. Another really important, important thing is not so much marketing online as content, providing great content. So you have a great blog, you do videos, you do blabs. And when you do that, you're building a relationship. You're just doing it one to many instead of one on one. So with those two things being right in place and just being said, Sean, what would you say to what she's asking about? You know, the the uh, right out of the gate, you're you're ahead of the game because your original business uh, with doing B2B education is one on one relationship development and understanding the you know how you're going to leverage that LinkedIn network to create a new relationship with a potential client and and how to utilize that that platform as a means of, of harvesting your network for potential business. But you're still coming down to that time with audio on yours i don't is everyone else here having a hard time hearing yeah uh so i just got both mark and uh sean on poor audio i know that all of you are very happy with uh sean and all the great value that he's providing uh so he might be able to uh come back on and uh we hope so uh but in the meantime i uh heard, i saw you nodding uh is it Bryn? how do i say it uh i, I saw you nodding um, when you, I said something about content. So that sounds to me like you're already providing good content online. Yeah, I lost audio. Okay, I'm not here. Yeah, we're, we don't have oh, audio on you at better? all now. I don't, it's so funny how this. Oh, works. it would be the mute yes. button that I turned on when my kids were calling me. <laughs> yeah. There it is. I'm getting used to this tech stuff now. It's kind of confusing. I'm sorry, I'm kidding. I apologize. So that, that whole real thing when your kids are calling you in the background, you know, so, okay. Thank you. Yeah. So I do have a really nice tribe. Um, I have 15,000 uh, people that ha have opted in or connected with me that I'm dripping on about 20% of them are viewing my content every single week. I ha I, I've got a really nice system going on average. I have a thousand people visiting uh, my blog, 1500, sometimes I've gone up to, I've gone up to 112,000 at one time in view. Feel um, free to tell so us your website. I'm not, actually going to take you to linkedinposts.com, which is actually, mm -hmm. I blog on my website too, but I like to take people to my LinkedIn posts. Um, cause I like the traffic to my LinkedIn since that's what I do. So thank you. I appreciate that. Um, I have really good content. I have a best-selling book. I've got lots of all those fun things. But again, where my dilemma for me, and it's not even a dilemma yet, it's a, it's a um, predicted dilemma, I would say, is to be able to convert now this tribe that knows me for training and keynote speaking um, to want coaching from nine of the best social sellers in the world, at least that's what we think, you know, so in, in, in a monthly subscription agreement. So again, I, I, I love the conversation. I love the sale. I love the solution oriented piece. Um, I don't know how to market something. I don't want to talk. It's terrible. I don't want to talk to the prospects about this product. 
if I get someone on the phone, I'm selling a $10,000 class. I'm not selling a $99 a month product. That being said, the $99 a month product is what I want to retire on because I can't just keep selling over and over and over again. Like it's a long sales process to get a keynote that's going to happen in February. And it's, you know, there's just a lot that goes into it. I'm making a very nice living, but if I stop selling for one day, it throws me off a day in the future, right? Like I am that when it comes to selling. And what does the 99 product, $99 product do to sell your large package? Totally. Is it not, I mean, does, does selling it sell your package? No, I, not, it not really. It really could be a next step. When I have a large package, this could be, okay, now here's what's next. But I don't think I would ever start there. So my so do, are they two yes. different target markets, like the big yes. packages for this big corporate person? And then, so that's awesome. That's mm -hmm. called diversification and that's beautiful. And that's always an issue. I love this. This is part of your question. I know it's not your entire question, but I have that issue too. Like I have, you know, I'm the speaker and I have a coaching certification school and I have a, a marketing consulting and I'm good at all of them and I love all of them. So do I put them all on one big website and call it all Sherry Prindle? Or do I have a website that's the professional coach Academy and one that's the branding yourself on purpose? Like, I think that's always that that's been a, a big dilemma mm -hmm. since the internet came out. So you have any I thoughts, have thoughts on that, on Sean? That. <laughs> Yeah, oh, let me hear your thoughts on that aspect of it. And then, because we'll I know Sean, Sean probably has he's comments probably on much the bigger this than I. Uh oh, he's got audio problems still. We need some sign language. Yeah. <laughs> okay. So, if I can <laughs> add my two cents to that, um, I actually highly believe in separating the two instead of confusing your audience. That being said, you can link each of them to each other. So you can have, you know, right. other services that Sherry Prindle offers as a page and on each website, and then you can bring people to other websites. But um, I think if you confuse, you can confuse your audience quickly, and if they get confused, they leave. And the mute person believes the same thing. <laughs> so we know that earlier what happened was that Brynn had accidentally hit her mute button. Let's let's just hope that that's all He's that gonna write to it. you, Sean. <laughs> he is going to hold it up. Like, what was that? Let's Ask America. That's, so that's so <laughs> that'll be fun. Oh, can we read it? <laughs> I can't even see it. You need you need a sharpie. You no, need a sharpie. A <laughs> this is actually kind of cute if he would paint his face white and put little stars right, on like his eyes. Uh, <laughs> right? Yeah. Yeah. The mind marketing. Um, so that's my feeling on that. And one of the things. So when I started this this other business that I'm starting with my, these partners, I originally was starting it on my own. And then I realized I don't want to do it alone. It's just, I'm already, you know, kind of capped at my time and it wasn't fun to do something else on my own. So like I, I really, so this, I actually found partners and I'm really excited about this. Um, but ultimately it, I started it because there are so many entrepreneurs and solopreneurs that came to me and say, I really want to hire you to help me. And I have no budget, you know, and, me, I give away, I have so many free clients, the smaller clients, and I'm like, just give me referrals and introductions because really I'm selling to the Fortune 500. So I started locally. A lot of people know me and they'll come in. I'm like, okay, I'll give you an hour for three introductions. I'll go through your LinkedIn, pick out who I want to meet. And so that's actually worked. So, I mean, it's not, it hasn't been a bad thing. And I can help people. And there have been a couple of people that have actually really done very well because of it. And so it's all happy, but I'd like a place to, to send them and, and to monetize <laughs> that. I also want something that's going to give me reoccurring revenue that I don't have to set, sell and resell every single solitary day, right? Every day I'm selling and reselling. 
And not that I don't love that, but it'll get old. <laughs> it just will. So I want something with reoccurring revenue. And so that's what this package is. At the same time, I don't want to have an hour conversation to sell a $99 a month program <laughs> that after three months, they're going to drop off when I'm only making 50% of that money anyway. <laughs> Like it's less than I would have made in an hour consultation. So uh, yeah, that's the hard. That's the hard one. Is that that best of those residual income and having that be an evergreen, having that be something that can t that eventually doesn't take up as much of your time. That's kind of the whole idea. Is I created it. And it took a long time, but now it's on autopilot, and it seems like nothing in the world. It's kind of hard <laughs> for anything in the modern world as things change so quickly to be. Well, this is a very cool model that. For $99 a month, they're getting, it's not an e-learning product. And I don't really know, and I don't want to say more until I get an okay from my partners of how much I can say, but there's definitely. The world of NDA. Yeah. He's back. He's back. Yay. Yeah, I just want to be careful. But at the end of the day, that <coughs> it's, it's really amazing support and guidance for entrepreneurs that, really need to leverage LinkedIn to grow their business, not just LinkedIn, but social selling, some yeah. thought leadership, even how to use Twitter the right way for business development and so on. <clears throat> but, well, it so, so we've, we've, we've gone for, beyond the original question and Sean, you never got a chance to kind of answer it. So feel free just to remind everybody else. Um, and there was a question that Brian had that I thought was really good. Brian wanted to know, uh, Bryn, if you are repurposing your blog posts onto LinkedIn, um, that's yes. a good question. You could probably answer that in the chat for him. And then Sean, um, for everyone, he's going to answer her initial question kind of had to do with going from being someone who sells face to face um, into selling in the social space. Yeah, if you're if you're selling ahead, in the Sean. social space and, and I say this about social media in, in general, your goal in social media should always be to have a, an in real life interaction at some point. Whether with everyone? Be, with everyone. I know this seems, and when I say an okay. in real life interaction, like even if it means speaking to a large group, that's still an in I will have life. a ton of that. Exactly. So after they buy. Right. You know, so you're, you're coming in and you're, you're driving towards having that in real life interaction because that is the ultimate goal of all relationship building online. Uh, you know, I, I would love to have won the $60 million lottery just so I could hop on a plane and go flying around the country, meeting all the people that I'm connected with online that I haven't actually met face to face. Uh, but this is part of the reason why I enjoy going out to speaking engagements is because I can stand on the stage. I can say everything. I can see the reactions and the interactions that I'm having. And then after I come off the stage, people can still come up to me afterwards and, and have a conversation about, well, you know, here's a scenario and there's a scenario. And, and I can assess right there whether or not they're going to need more help, which is going to be, you know, billable time or whether or not I can point them in a direction. There is monster, monster, monster value in being that person who can say, you know what, I haven't got what you need, or I'm currently so busy, I don't have the time to give you what you really need, but I do know somebody. And then making that referral to another professional whom you trust, because you're still building up that trust relationship, which is ultimately important in every sale. Nobody's going to buy something from you if they don't trust you. So, I mean, in building that relationship and enhancing it and cultivating it, I know it sounds like a, you know, an ominous task when you're getting into the social selling field and, and really starting to, to have those one-on-one -on -one interactions, but they have so much value, so much value. Okay. So, I, and I appreciate that because I teach relationships and the goal of every single interaction that I teach when I teach social selling is to take it offline. So... I 100% agree with you. I'm going to tell you that for the new business, it needs to be different. Really? Because I, yeah, I cannot interact with enough people. Like, I can't make enough money having those interactions at the 99 that I'm selling into a $99 a month. So I know that a ton of people do this. I know that marketing online, I hate them. Like, I hate the emails that I get that are like, <laughs> You know, you've got 12 hours left for the, you know, the, I hate that. I hate yeah. that. It's so inauthentic, right? I hate it. 
but people are making money doing this. And what they'll get from us is so phenomenal but it's in a group setting and they will interact with all of us live as much as 36 hours a month. Which, which is at mm -hmm. the end, what you're selling is you're selling that opportunity to come and meet with you, you know, in person, hear you in person mm -hmm. and actually get that engagement. So you're still accomplishing the same goal. You may not have that individual react interaction with them in the process of selling it, but right. the end goal is that you are going to create that in real life interaction. Absolutely. So it's and that's why I agree with you. Yeah. This is why I just don't know how to get them there. It's and it's stuff like this. Like it's absolutely like stuff like this. It's but you know, stuff like this. Like, and I don't mean like stuff like this is 21 people in the room. So if two people. No, 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 no. I'm saying that you, you capture this. This is you are right. recording this, aren't you? Yeah, and if oh, the only way I can capture yeah. that is if I'm a host, but that's yeah. beside the well, point. Well, no, but but the, the recording is going to be available online. Mm -hmm. So what I do is is a lot of these these blab chats that I that I'm on, I link those into my LinkedIn profile. And so I, I'm putting I them on YouTube. Them. I'm put putting it on them on YouTube. YouTube. Yeah. Add it into your YouTube channel. Put it onto your LinkedIn profile. If it's a really really good one, put it onto your LinkedIn profile. But you give people to take a look and see this is the real you. This is what you offer. This is the genuine article. And when you come to, to see me speak, this is what you're going to see. This is what you're going to get, mm -hmm. you know, as, as somebody that not only understands the subject matter, but is really connected to a larger network of people that they can reach out to and get answers for, for you as, as the potential customer. So Tim Gillette I love you, Tim. says, basically, Sorry. you need to find the way that can, yeah. yeah. You need to find a way that converts many yes. people for your one hour of time. So if the best way for you to sell is to do it one in person, keep selling in person, just don't sell to one person. So Tim has a big meetup group and I have a meetup group too. So there's this, uh, this platform, there's uh, getting, you know, doing uh, speaking gigs, there's doing Google Hangouts. Uh, but it's yep. about that yeah. one. No, and I, lo I love that. But like from here, you can't sell, like you can't. Are you selling? I don't but know. no, but see, that's just it. Well, I don't know. Like, what are we doing here? Like, we're putting our links. I put you put your website here. People follow you. When they follow you, then you tweet all day long about your business and about the webinars that you're doing and about those kinds of things. So people who came here on Blab and thought this Sherry Crindle really right. seems to understand how to market, then they're going to follow me on Twitter. They're going to read things that I'm doing. Yeah. And then, do direct, you believe but... in that those marketing campaigns where you're just literally saying, "Hey, buy my thing"? Like, I don't like that. No, no. And this for your ninety nine dollar program, maybe. I, but if it's I not have you, it's long not you, said right? in just about every presentation I've ever done, it's not called buy my shit media. It's called social media. And that's and I that's how I feel, right? Yeah. So. So, so I mean, now I'm in this weird, like, how do I get the word out from by my shit? <laughs> like, yeah. how do I well, get? This is, and this is it. These are the, the platforms. Like, I am going to leave this platform and I'm going to go out and say, you know, I just had this, this great lab chat with these people and I'm going to share their, their links and I'm going to share their, their Twitter profiles. I'm going to share their LinkedIn stuff. So you're, you're getting an, uh, a referral from a trusted agent mm -hmm. about another trusted agent. And that's going to lead to people going, well, okay, who's this person? And then going out and checking out what you have to offer. I agree with you 100%. And I really feel like that's how I built my existing business. Mm -hmm. And I, you're not really, you're just kind of changing spaces. You're not changing everything. You've got the right idea. You've got the great product. It's now you get everybody else to talk about how great your product is. And I think Petra um, said something kind of interesting. I mean, she's right. When it comes down to it, you do have to have your, your list and you do have to make your offer, but you just don't have to be cheesy and hokey about it, right? So you get to know these people in the social space. They join your list. Mm -hmm. They've said, I want to hear more about your, your product. You, you send that email out, but you're just not cheesy about 12 hours only and flop, you know, 12 bonuses and all that, yeah, right? Exactly. It's getting permission to yeah. market to them. They and I have that. But I don't really, you know, it's funny. Like I have my every Sunday newsletter that goes out. It's got, you know, a teaser to my blog and it takes you to my new blog, which drives an enormous amount of traffic. I'm very happy about that. 
And now I have my blabs listed, come subscribe to my blabs that are coming up. And then I have schedule a call. So I want to talk about, and I, I, on almost every single time I put, you know, if you're, if you're in need of you leveraging LinkedIn to grow your business, schedule a call with me. Whether we decide to do business or not, I'm confident that our conversation will be full of insights that can help you grow your business. Here's a link to my calendar. And I fill up with phone calls, right? And I, and they're the right people because I'm targeting the right people and I got that. But now I don't want their phone calls for the $99 stuff. I want and you them. Then you don't give them the opportunity to make that phone call. You put them into a queue and a sales funnel that's designed to collect them and organize them so that you can you can cultivate that's, the relationship that way. That's you know what? I and I don't know why I didn't think about that, but you're right. I need to have a I don't know a where I came up with that. that yeah. <laughs> but no, 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 no. That's what I was waiting for. That's the magic piece that just like you know how it's like, okay, you just need one thing and that's it. What I haven't really thought about is just Duh, sticking them in a different queue, having those people download for entrepreneurs, a diff something else yeah, that's specifically it's, entrepreneurs. Yeah, that you, was the aha moment. Thank you very much, Sean. You you silo your web stuff, that's, but you don't yeah. silo your social stuff. So, I mean, it, you, you've you got a website that you can direct people to, to to sign up for the $99 deal and you can show the value that you've got. And in there, you're saying, you know, I'm going to be on this blab next week or this hangout coming up, or I'm going to be doing this live webinar on these dates and, and they can pick and choose what part they're going to see before they take in the $99 one. Yeah. And but, what I'm going to do, I think this was very, 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 very helpful. I am very grateful. I just want to share what I want to do inside of my newsletter that's going out to everyone is then have an offer just for entrepreneurs. Yep. Yeah. Right. And so they can start to segregate themselves. Yeah, absolutely. And they Yay. may not ever talk with you until so I just after they've Sean, signed up for the Say, I, I heard Sherry, I miss Mark. I said, for those with the $99 program, they may never talk with you until after they've set up and paid for a month or two. And then you have something where you can spend the- Well, they'll, be, they'll have access to all of us at different times throughout the month live. Okay. So, um, so that that's, uh, but I think that the, the aha moment is that I need to take this whole list and let them self segregate by offering something that's just for that entrepreneur or solopreneur or startup. Okay and then create another list and market to them differently than I am to the rest of my group. Yes. Yep. Completely. All right. Thank you all so much. I was looking to close up at this around This was awesome. I love doing that. But I, I'm going to get out, but I just want to thank, thank you. you all so much. Really, really aha moments that really made a difference. So if That's there's anything I can for. do for either or for any of you, let me know. I'm going to try and connect with you on LinkedIn now. This was awesome. Absolutely great. Yep, on LinkedIn. I yes. have a, a, a nine-year-old <laughs> surprise party to, to get busy on. So this is, <laughs> this is the last time you will see All sanity right. on this face. Oh, <laughs> there you go. Thank you all so much. We really enjoyed having you, and we look forward to uh, future in the labs. Blast, Thanks a lot. All right. And goodbye, Sherry. It's been great. Bye, Mark. Thank you.